Hello everybody, my name's Adam and welcome to this Planet Zoo video where today we are going to be doing a full zoo tour of our Outback Island Zoo. I'm very excited to show you around and we're going to start with this lovely entrance what I created here. I wanted to do like an extended bridge um, over like a rock face with like water underneath which obviously I've done. Nice little waterfall to the right hand side for our guests to view as they're coming in also. So the guests come in here to the left we've got a bit of um, staff facilities and also to the right we've also got staff facilities. But I'll just take you underneath here. So this is where our guests come in out. Nice little water feature on each side. Um, it's quite high detailed, but not as high detailed as I could have done it. This zoo, um, I hope you like it. And I hope you do like the little details I've added. So we come to this water fountain. Now I've actually done a video on this water fountain before and it is on the Steam Workshop. And actually this whole zoo is on my Steam Workshop page. So if you want to check it out, go over to my Steam Workshop page in the link down below and you can check out this zoo for yourself. Uh, we've got a little sign here. So we've got Crocs to the right, Dingoes to the left and we've got Exhibits straight ahead. But yeah, love the little water fountain. I'll, uh, I'll zoom out for you to have a proper look. There we are. And first of all, I think I'm going to take you to the Crocs. The first habitat, Croc Creek. Take you over this little bridge to our viewing area. Quite a simple habitat, this one. Nice little viewing area here with the education boards and our guests walking around having a look at the crocodiles. Where's the crocodiles? Can we see one? There's one. They're having a little swim. Is that a baby? It's an adult. Yeah, there he is. Chilling, having a little swim. I think there's about four or five crocodiles in here. It's quite a large habitat. I'll just show you the scale. So there we go. They can go also go underneath here as well for the where they can sleep with their bedding down. Everything they need, all the enrichment items. Now, if we was to go left towards the word that it says dingoes, we've got a little seating area here for our guests to sit down and some ATMs. And if we go over here, we've got our little, are these turtle tortoises, sorry? Let's have a look. Yeah, giant tortoises. Um, I wanted like a little, I had this gap here and I really wanted to fill it, so I decided to fill it with tortoises. There's our guest viewing on. Nice little circular modern style habitat. And now let's go over to one of the main animals of our Australian zoo. It's the dingo and I've named this habitat Dingo Den. Now as we're coming in you can see a massive window in a rock base here with our education board. And love the little viewing area this. Oh there's our one of our keepers having a little clean up. And let's just go in, shall we? Let's go in, have a look around. Ah, they're having dinner. There they are. So there's two of our lovely dingoes having a bite to eat. Again, let's zoom out to show you the rest of the actual habitat. We come round here. We've got a little, um, like little shaded areas for our guests to chill out. Um, little recycling bins. Education all over the park, by the way, as you can see here. Um, little toilet, in case our guests need the toilet, a little walkthrough toilet. And here's the actual dingo habitat. It's full 360, our guests can walk all the way around. And the is another little viewing platform here. And that is the scale and the size of our dingo habitat. Again, quite a large habitat. You'll obviously see there's a lot of water dotted about and the whole island is surrounded by water. That's why it is called Outback Island. Just here off the um, off the beaten path, so to speak. Next to our dingoes is a little, like a modern style toilet area for our guest. Um, really like this toilet area. Now let's take you back to the main point of the zoo and back to the sign. And we're gonna go straight ahead this time to exhibits. 
Again, another little seating area to our right there. And also our guests can view the crocodiles from that area also. And this takes us to Tropical House. Um, as you can see, very tropical um, and quite modern as well. I'll just show you the outside. So there's the outside of our little building here. Well, it's not little, quite a big building. Again, very modern. Um, and if we just go inside, the theme of modern does carry on inside. As you can see. So this is where all our exhibits are. We've got a nice little water feature here. There's our exhibits. So I think we've got an iguana there. We've got another exhibit to our right here. And we've got another exhibit just behind here to our left. We're going to follow the path along now. And we've got another like modern style beach toilet kind of theme going on here. As we'll just go over and follow this path. And here is Koala Island. Again, this actual habitat is on my Steam Workshop if you want to check it out and put it in your zoo. So we've got Koala Island. Again, quite a funky modern theme going on. Um, don't ask me what happened with, with the water. I don't know. I just thought it would be quite cool to have. Um, there's a couple of koalas in here. Not a lot. And there is an exhibit in the middle of here. So as they are walking around the koala island, they have actually got a little exhibit to look at as well. And we've got loads of little details like this. Have a dip like a little surfboard going on um there's our entrance for our staff back there and where our koalas will be sleeping and the koalas can actually climb this and climb onto the roof here as well above where our guests are actually trying to view them again another little viewing area to the end here all our guests are chilling out relaxing and having a view of our lovely koalas now I think we're going to go and check out our eating and drinking facilities. It was further to the start, but this is our slush, which is how I've called it. Um, this is actually, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, it is a slush. It is a slush slush shop. That's quite difficult to say. Tom Trister. Um, little seating areas for our guest. And next to it, what some of you might have seen if you are long time subscribers is the pizza and ice cream shop the guests come up here they can get the pizza and down below here is an ice cream vending shop as well as little seating areas the next section in our zoo tour let's just go over this bridge here as you can see again just little details making it again look australian and modern themed i really wanted to go with the modern australia theme basically based on an island and i think i managed to pull it off let me know in the comment section below if you think i pulled it off so here's our little beach area. We've got our showers. Of course, you need showers at a beach. We've got a little log fire going here. Everything's pretty much for sure. Um, again, towels, umbrellas. And we've got a little sign here saying, take a dive one at a time. So you can dive into the lovely water. And of course, we've got a little bar area here. Because no beach is complete without a bar for those adults. Eh? Now let's just go past the bar and under this rock here. Let's see what's on the other side. Come up the steps. And we've got our kangaroo habitat. Uh, I made two viewing pods, so we've got this viewing pod here. Obviously the purpose is in the name, it's for our guests to view. And they're having a little seat down there, look like they're actually queuing up for this seat. But wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where's this kid going? They just tried going into the habitat, jumping in. What's he playing at? Uh, obviously, education as well, all the way throughout our lovely zoo. And again, this is the other side. And there's our lovely kangaroos having a hop around. Love it. Let's zoom out, I'll show you the actual scale. Again, another quite large habitat. Loads of shading areas and seating areas for our guests as they walk around and view the kangaroos. Now, if we come back down and back under the rocks, we'll come back to our beach area here. And we'll pass this and we'll go on the other side of the rocks and pass underneath there. And this is where our cassowary habitat is.
Again, modern style building, quite unique. I just kind of went with the floor with most of the buildings in this zoo. We'll pass underneath here, and this is the actual viewing area for our guest to view our cassowary. I've just actually spotted one running past. Let's see if I can catch him or her. Where have they gone? Got a nice little, um, little, yeah, oh, we've got one. It was asleep, I think, but it's awake now. There it is. A bit fast, aren't they? But yeah, there's our lovely cassowary. We've got a lovely little water fountain over here as well. This is actually off the workshop. Um, I can't remember the name of the creator, but yeah, credits to you. This is not my creation. I nicked this off the workshop. And we'll zoom out. I've got, again, another large habitat. I wanted all the animals in this zoo to be Australian themed out of the Australian DLC. So because there wasn't a lot, I needed to create quite large habitats for those said animals. And that everybody is pretty much everything. I'm just going to zoom out and show you like the whole zoo itself. We've got the spawn point for the guest here in the rocks and they come over the bridge and they're pretty much showing you everywhere now. I believe we've got, let's just count us, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six different animals, that's it. But it just goes to show, um, this is kind of like a medium sized zoo. It's all the animals out of the zoo, out of the Australian DLC. And yeah, obviously I've taken a lot of time and effort into like terraforming and, and rearranging the terrain with this zoo because i really want it to look like an island and i think i really ended up paying off in the end and it did end up looking like an island i hope you enjoyed this zoo and if you did i just want to say thank you everybody for coming along in this zoo tour with me if you do like this zoo, I have said it before, the link is in that in the description to my Steam page to view this zoo yourself. Um, and obviously most of the buildings are also down there as well. If you did like this zoo tour, thank you. Feel free to subscribe if you're not already. Drop a like, it really helps my channel grow. And my name's Adam, I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next one.